everyone, Prestissima here. Today, we're gonna learn a song called In the Good Old Summertime. It's a Tin Pan Alley song from 1902 by George Evans and Ray Shields. Let's have some fun. All right, In the Good Old Summertime. We're in the key of blank major. All right, aha. This is a scale we haven't learned yet, but remember we learned a trick about how to figure out what key we're in, right? So when we have the flats, the next to last flat is the key we're in. So this one is a B flat, right? Next to last. So we're in the key of B flat major. I'll write that in. Okay. All right, friends. So in the key of B flat major, we have two flats, right? B flat and E flat. And we see that in our key signature. Our time signature is three, four, meaning we have three beats per measure and a quarter note gets a beat. And we see right away that we have a pickup measure, right? We just have one beat in this measure before we keep going on with our piece. So let's jump right in and I'll give you some tips. All right, so let's start with our right hand because we have the melody in the right hand and we're gonna start on our two finger, okay? And we'll start right on F. Don't forget, we have B flats and E flats all throughout the piece, okay? So we're gonna start on three and, right? So we have one and two and three and one and two and three and. Now I know we count a lot of things in four, so keep the three in mind, okay? So we have three and one and two and three and. And then we're gonna do a little stretch up to the F here, okay? Same as we had before. And then another stretch up to that B flat, okay? And then up to the five finger up here. Okay, now we're gonna tie that dotted half note all the way over to the one of the next measure, okay? Keep holding that five finger on the D and then we'll come down on two. And then B flat, okay? Here we go, B flat again on three. Okay, and then B flat again. And then a little stretch down to two. Okay, good. Now remember, this is gonna tie over, right, down to the downbeat to one, and then you're gonna lift for two and three. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Now, see we're starting on the D here, but if you look at this line, it looks very similar to this one, right? So let's start on our one finger. We'll just jump our one finger down since we lift it anyway. And then we'll go to the two finger like we did before. And then stretch our three finger up to that B flat. Okay, that made that easy, right? We did one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that was nice and easy. And then this is B flat on our three finger. One, two, or I'm gonna play it on my four finger. One, two, three, one, two, three. So exactly the same. Now we're gonna play a little chord. Remember there's an E flat. Okay, but here you're gonna hold the C with your five finger for the entire three beats, right? It's a different voice. So this is gonna hold all the way through while you play these the rest of these notes under it. So E flat and C, and then play the E flat and F and then the E flat and G, and then you're still holding it over the line or over the bar line. So you have E flat and A, and then back to E flat G, and then now you can lift that C and play these two together, E flat, or uh, yeah, E flat and F. Okay, you got that? So let's do one more time slowly. We, you're gonna hold that C all through these, this measure for three beats, and then also tie it over for two beats in this measure. So we have one, two, three, one, two, lift, three. Okay, so you'll have to practice that. It's a little bit tricky. Let's keep going. Okay, and we still have that ascending line. That's fun, right? So starting on one, I like to give us a little reminder. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, 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 four, three, and then a little stretch, two, three, one, right? So it's a very melodic line. We want to feel like we're singing it with the piano, so it's all gonna be very smooth too, right? Okay, so we have the three beats and then hold it over the bar line for one beat, rest for one beat, and then now we're gonna play that F with our two finger. 
because we're gonna play that melody line again. Two, three, four, five, four, three. Now, it's a little bit different, right? But we're just gonna go to the one on that F. Two, and then B flat. Five, okay. Now, you have choices. I'm gonna play this with one and four, right? Because I already have my five finger on the C. And so it's just easy to play that B flat with my four finger and I could play the one on the D. But if you have a little bit smaller hand, it's okay to jump down to one and five, no problem. Or whatever's easiest for you. So I have two, four, four, five. I'm gonna play one and four. Or you could play four, five, one and five. Whatever's easiest for you, friends. And then we're gonna go to this final chord up here. And I'll play that one, two, and five for me. Okay? And then rest. All right, very good, friends. All right, now time for our left hand. So. Remember we have that pickup measure. We're gonna be silent for our left hand in the pickup measure. And then look at this. We kind of have that stride piano thing going, right? Where you have the bass note and then you jump up to a chord, bass note, chord. And we also see that there are some pedal markings, right? So you can experiment to see what sounds good to your ear, but they have a suggestion where you're gonna hold down the pedal and maybe lift it there, pedal, lift. So you're gonna see where you like to lift, what, it, what sounds good to you, okay? So let's give it a try here. We're gonna start on B flat, right? Okay, so that's one, and then jump up. Don't forget there's a B flat up there too. So I'm gonna play one and three there, but you play what's comfortable for you, and then down to F, okay? So the hardest part here is jumping back and forth, right? So we're gonna figure out where all the chords are, and then we're gonna get comfortable going back and forth, okay? So then we have B flat again, I'm playing one, two, and five on these. This is easiest for me. And then here, since my hand is already in this position, maybe I'll just play three on the A flat. Okay, but you do what's ever easiest for, easiest for you. So I'll go five, one, two, five, and then I'll do three on the A flat. That's an accidental, right? So an A flat, and then we still have B flat because that's in the key signature. Okay, we keep going here. And we have G, I think I'm gonna play one and three. This is B flat and E flat. E flat down here. So I'm gonna jump up to one and three again. And then I'll go down to D. So most of the time I'm playing this bass note here with my five finger. Okay, and then up here, this seems to be very common, F. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, we missed something here. It said simile, right? Which means continue in this same or similar manner. So it had given us all these pedal markings. And then I think they just, they don't wanna keep writing you through the whole piece. So they say it's simile because you're just gonna keep doing the same thing, okay? So there's gonna be pedal throughout. You figure out what sounds good, but it's just saying you keep going, okay? All right, so we'll keep going. I'm playing it without pedal right now, but you'll play it with pedal once you have a better feel for how this goes, okay? Then. Keep going here into our third system. We have B flat. Okay, I'm gonna play one and three here too. B flat there. And then F, one, two, five. B flat, okay, lots of change here. Goes from F and B flat to F sharp and A. Okay, so that's B flat. I'm gonna play one and three, and I'll play one and three again, okay? Then we have you can jump up to five and then B flat D. I kind of like that. Yeah, I like having that bass line with my five finger. Okay, then jump down to C. Aha, watch out for these. This is B flat, C, and E. Okay, every time I read that one, my brain does something to me here. There it is, good. All right, so that's twice. Now, in our left hand, so we have this F, it's kind of hard to see, but this is a dotted half note and it's tied to another dotted half note. So you're gonna hold that F for two whole measures, okay? But this line has to keep moving. So we're gonna hold that down and then the first note is F. So it just means we're gonna play the same note, but then we're gonna play one, two, three, one, two, three, 
like how I held that F down the whole time? One, two, three, one, two, three. So I just did five, three, two, one, two, three. Keep going. Then we're back to our stride style. Right, one and three there. Jump down to the F, B flat. Okay, this is the one I started where I do use the three finger there, just because it's easier. And then I'll do five finger here. Okay, and then B flat, E flat, jump down. One and three I'm going to use here, down to F. Okay, we have this little tricky one again, B flat, and then we're going to play one and three, and then little tr little switch, right? So F to B flat, and then F sharp to A, right? And then I still like to jump up to five here, and then down to C. Okay, this is the one that makes my brain crazy here. Remember, when you see that natural sign, it means that the E flat is now naturalized and it is good for the whole measure, right? Okay, now the F. I'm gonna go one, two, and four here. Okay, so I went from five, I'll do one, three, four, and then five, one, two, four. Yeah, I like that. And then, it's pretty easy here, five, one, five, rest. Okay, all right. So quick mention, remember, we looked at this natural sign, this accidental, which carries through the entire bar, right? So we had B flat, C, E, right? But normally it would have been E flat. We have a natural sign. Remember, when you have a bar line, it resets. So now you're back to E flat there. Right? Because that's in the key signature. And there are no accidentals in this measure, only in this one, right? So you're back to the E flat. All right, good note. Okay, and we're gonna also go back to these two measures, okay? This was kind of a tricky one because you have to hold down this top note. And in the left hand, you have to hold down this bass note. So I just want you to see what it looks like if I play them hands together. So let's try it, okay? We have the E flat here, right? And then we're gonna keep that start on that F. So we have one, two, three, one, two, and then lift the C on top. Okay, did you get that? Let's try it again. So I'll say one, two, three. One, two, three. So practice that very, very slowly until you see where everything lines up and then you can play your hands together as smoothly and beautifully as you like as you sing it. All right, so I do see some notes. It says circle all the intervals of a third within this song. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get our handy dandy pencil and let's go take a look. Let's see, do I see any thirds so far? No, no, aha, I see some thirds. All right, let's keep going. Some thirds? No. Mm, no. Nope. 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 Aha. This is a third. These are thirds. Okay. All right. The melody is mostly one note, right? But let's keep going. Okay. Anything here? Oh, yeah. Right there. So there's one. And there's another one. Okay. Keep going. Anything there? No. No. Oh. Found some. Is that a third? No. No, no, yes, 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 okay, did I miss any? Okay, I think that's it. What else does it say? It says to draw a square around all the intervals of a fourth within this song. Okay, we can do that. Let's go back. We're gonna do a square this time. All right, here's a fourth, right? We saw one right away from the beginning. All right, keep going. Triad, triad, hmm, what else do we have? Aha! Fourth. Okay, oh, another one. Same one. Okay.
Okay, any more? Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, there's lots of fours in this song. Okay, no. Aha. Uh -huh. There's one. Oh, my squares are starting to get a little wonky, huh? Let me get something there. Okay, now there's a bunch of notes here. Let's take a look. No, I don't think any fourths there. There's one. Okay. How about those? No, no, no. Uh huh. Fourths, fourths, fourths everywhere. Okay, no, no. Uh huh. Oh, we're getting really good at identifying thirds and fourths, huh? Let's get those. Yeah. Square. Anything else? Okay. Did I miss any? I think we did it. Good job, everyone. All right, everyone. So you're going to practice your right hand slowly. Then you're going to practice your left hand slowly. Then you're going to put your hands together. And you might even want to place some measures separately. Hands together, like here. So to get comfortable, right? Then you're going to sing the words, sing the lyrics while you play. And then you're going to sing the solfege while you play. Good job, everyone. Today, we learned a fun song called In the Good Old Summertime. So keep practicing all your songs, sing while you play, and memorize everything. Presti Sima out!